सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिस न्यू सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व ओनली वन प्रॉब्लम ओके विच इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम एंड मल्टीपल टाइम्स रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन सो यू कैन मार्क इट एज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम ओके सो नाउ इन दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम दैट विच इज रिलेटेड टू फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन अ मूविंग चार्ज ओके सो हियर द क्वेश्चन इज A point charge Q is equal to 18 nanocoulomb. Okay, nano means 10 to the power minus 9. It has a velocity of v is equal to 5 into 10 to the power 6 meter per second. Okay, and in the direction of this, they have given the direction that is 0.6 ax vector plus 0.75 ay vector plus 0.3 az vector. This is the direction. Okay, and after that, this is the direction of this velocity. Okay, and after that, we need to calculate the magnitude of force exerted on the charge by the field. and these are the three sub questions that is first thing they have given b is equal to minus 3ax plus 4ay plus 6az milli tesla t and in indicates tesla and m is milli that's it 10 to the power minus 3 and electric field they have given it as electric field that is minus 3ax plus 4ay plus 6az kilo volt per meter and the third case is b and e that is uh, magnetic field intensity and electric field intensity are acting together magnetic field and electric field are acting together okay So now let's see this first sub question. Let's uh, put the formula. So the given data is they have given the charge as well as they have given the value of uh, this uh, velocity, okay? And also uh, velocity and the direction they have given it, okay? And also they have given this uh, value of magnetic field. So therefore there is one relation that is F is equal to Q into V cross B, right? we have seen there in force on a moving charge this is there is one relation so now using this relation we are going to solve this first sub question okay so here in this data given is q is equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 right 18 nano coulomb so v cross b means again we need to be taking the cross product so determinant that is first in the first row ax ay az in the second row we need to be writing the coefficients of uh, the direction of velocity this which in which in question they have mentioned that is 0.6 0.75 and 0.3 0.6 0.75 0.3 and the coefficients of this magnetic field minus 3 4 6 so now we need to be solving this v cross v okay so they have solved the determinant that is 0.75 into 6 okay that is equal to 4.5 Minus 0.3 into 4 that is equal to 1.2. Okay, you can check it later. Into a x vector minus these two uh, these two uh, lines are eliminated. 0.6 into 3 that is 3.6. 0.3 into minus 3. So here minus we have already. So plus it will be plus. 0.3 into 3 is 0.9. A y vector plus. 0.6 into 4 is 2.4. Again, 0.75 into minus 3. So here we have minus into minus. So it is plus 0.75 into minus 3 is 2.25 az vector. So our v cross b. If we solve this, 4.5 minus 1.3 is 1.2 is 3.3 ax minus 3.6 plus 0.9 is 4.5 ay plus. 2.4 and 2.25 is 4.65 az okay that is milli tesla since is here in the magnetic field they have given milli tesla right so here we need to be writing v cross b is equal to the answer into milli tesla that is 10 to the power minus 3 tesla okay so this is our v cross b so now f is equal to q into v cross b right so f is equal to Q is 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 into 10 to the power minus 3. I am writing it first since it is milli tesla. After that, I am I will be writing this equation that is 3.3 ax minus 4.5 ay plus 4.65 az. So f is equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay. And also we need to be multiplying the direction here. in this case that is wo we they have given right in place of magnitude as well as direction for so both we need to be multiplying 
so the magnitude the magnitude they have given it as 5 into 10 to the power 6 so multiply that also and again 18 into 5 is 90 so right 90 into 10 to the power minus 9 into minus 3 So this is 5 into 10 to the power plus 6. Okay, 5 into 10 to the power 6. They have given right in the question. Yeah. So 10 to the power minus 9 into minus 3 is 10 to the power minus 12. Plus 6 is 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. Minus 12 plus 6 is minus 6. Into again 3.3 ax plus 4.65 is it. So now f is equal to. So multiply 90 into 3.3. That is equal to 2. 97 ax approximately minus 90 into 4.5 approximately 405 ay here we have minus so it will be minus 405 plus 90 into 4.65 again it's approximately 418.5 az okay this is the answer of force and here we have 10 to the power minus 6 so that is micro newton okay 10 to the power minus 6 is micro right so This is the answer of the force, which in the sub first sub question. Similarly, for second sub question, so the given data here is they have given E. Okay, so we have a direct relation for force that is a so when it is given E, F is equal to Q times E. Okay, since F is equal to it is E times E, right? But so we know that E is equal to Q. That say one and the same charge. So F is equal to Q times E. So direct relation. So Q they have given it as 18 into 10 to the power minus 9. And E they have given as three to the power three ax minus three ax plus four ay plus six is it kilo volt so it's kilo means ten to the power three so write that first into E that is minus three ax plus four ay plus six is it okay so that is F is equal to eighteen into ten to the power minus nine plus three again it is ten to the power minus six minus three ax plus four ay Plus six is it? Okay. So now multiply eighteen. That is eighteen into minus three is one minus fifty four ax. Eighteen into four plus seventy two ay. Eighteen into six is plus one not eight az. So this is the answer. Minus ten to the power minus six. That is again micro newton. Okay. So these are the answers for uh, A and B respectively. So please you can uh, refer it down. So we have one more sub question so now let's solve that so in this next question they have given it as b and e acting together okay so if they are acting together that means that in this formula we need to be consider having the values of both uh, e and as well e as well as b right so that's why what we need to be doing is the total uh, lorentz force which we have gained right in this case that we need to apply So the total Lorentz force, the formula which we have got is F is equal to Q E plus Q into V cross B, right? This is the total Lorentz force which I have obtained. So that is F is equal to Q is common. Take it outside. E plus V cross B. Okay. So now let's apply that. So F is equal to Q is 18 into 10 to the power minus 9. Okay, the value of E they have given in the sub question, right? Minus 3ax plus 4ay plus 6az into 10 to the power 3 kilo volt, right? So 10 to the power 3 plus V cross B which we have obtained, right? Here that only we are going to write it. That is 3.3 ax. Minus 4.5 ay plus 4.65 az into 10 to the power minus 3. Okay, since they are given milli tesla, so that's for 10 to the power minus 3. So F is equal to 18 into 10 to the power minus 9. Okay, so now multiply this 10 to the power uh, 3. So multiply this 10 to the power 3 to the whole term that is minus 3000 ax plus 
4000ay plus 6000az again here multiply 10 to the power minus 3 that is plus 0.0033ax right minus 0.0045ay plus 0.00465az right so now again here this and this we can add so our answer is 18 into 10 to the power minus 9 into minus 3000 plus 0.0033 that approximately would be getting into 2999.9 ax okay plus 4000 into minus 0, 0 0.0045 the answer we are getting is approximately 3999.55 okay ay plus 6000 and 0 0.00465 that is 6000.00465 az okay so we can round it off that is f is equal to eighteen into ten to the power minus nine into ten to the power three. I am taking it common because here what I am doing is minus two point nine nine. Here this is a large number, right? So I have taken ten to the power three common from this term. So two point nine nine ax plus three point nine nine ay plus here I am rounding it off to six. Is it okay? So now f is equal to eighteen into ten to the power minus nine plus three to ten to the power minus six. Okay minus 2.99 ax 3.99 ay plus 6 az so now f is equal to so 18 into minus 2.99 that is equal to approximately 53.8 ax plus 18 into 3.99 or 18 into 4 we can directly write it as 71.8 ay and 18 into 6 is 108 is it so this is the answer of force obtained 10 to the power minus 6 so micro newton okay so this is the third sub question here we have solved it so this was one important problem okay you can refer this problem so yeah pause the video and refer it so this was one simple problem so that's all for this session so in the next session we are going to discuss with the one important concept related to magnetic boundary conditions okay so stay tuned for that also so that's all for this session please like share subscribe comment down your opinions also refer our previous videos in order to understand brief about the concept also you can refer our playlist where we have solved all the model paper solutions for all the subjects electromagnetic theory control system principles of communication microcontrollers everything refer those videos as well uh, refer uh, share it to your friends like share subscribe guys thank you so this is the next concept that is displacement current or inconsistency in Ampere's law okay so this is one more derivation okay that is Maxwell's equation in point form which is derived from Ampere's law or we can call it as inconsistency in the Ampere's law okay so now let's see what is this so we know that Ampere's law in point form is given by del cross h is equal to j Okay, where this H is the magnetic field intensity and J is the current density and from Ampere's law in the module uh, 4 we have seen this relation that is del cross H is equal to J. So now what we can do is just do one thing that is del cross H is equal to J minus 0 at this term minus 0. It's, we know that J minus 0 is J only so that's why it won't affect this term. So just uh, del cross H is equal to J vector minus 0 and name this as equation 1. So now we we'll take divergence on both sides that is del dot del cross h is equal to del dot j is equal to 0 okay. So now we can say that divergence of curl of a vector is identically 0 okay. Always the divergence of curl of a vector is identically 0 we can conclude that this term is also equal to 0. So from continuity equation we have one more relation right that is del dot j so we can say that this term is 0. From continuity equation we have one more relation that is del dot j is equal to minus dou by dou t of rho v okay this is from continuity equation we have discussed it now equation one is true if 
minus rho by dot t of rho v equal to 0 ok so but this here is the unrealistic limitation ok so therefore equation 1 to be amended before we accept it for time changing field we need to be assuming one condition that is del cross h is equal to j vector plus g vector ok so now what we need to be doing is again take divergence on both sides in this above equation ok that is del dot del cross h is equal to del dot j plus del dot g is equal to 0 now replacing uh, del dot g is equal to uh, dou by dou t of rho v ok so now what we will be getting replacing rho v by del dot d ok that is replacing rho v uh, rho v by del dot d what we are getting del dot g is equal to dou by dou t of rho v is, is replaced by del dot d from divergence equation we have right del dot d is equal to rho v ok this is from divergence ok so that's why i have replaced rho v by del dot d so what we would be getting del dot dou d by dou t ok if we simplify this and write it like this so but dou d by dou t also we can replace it by dou by dou d by dou t is equal to dou by dou t of epsilon times e since we have one more relation d is equal to epsilon e right so that's why in place of d i have replaced it by epsilon e so therefore take this epsilon outside here so epsilon dou e by dou t is equal to j d ok so this is the formula for j d that is epsilon dou e by dou t ok so this is j d so now what i will tell you what is j d this j d is called as the displacement current density ok and for j d this is the formula for j d which i have written here that is epsilon dou e by dou t ok so now what we need to be doing is from which we get del dot g is equal to uh, dou d by dou t ok so del dot g is equal to this is replaced by epsilon dou e by dou t so now ampere's law in point form becomes what now del cross h is equal to jc plus jd ok del cross h is equal to jc plus jd whenever we apply ampere's law in point form ok so now I have seen, I have told you what is JD, but JC, JC is equal to sigma times E, okay. This is the formula for JC and where this JC is called as conduction current density and this is the final equation obtained when Ampere's law in point form becomes inconsistent in case of uh, Maxwell's equation of point form for a displacement current, okay. So that's why we are getting del cross, del cross h is equal to jc plus jd where jc and jd are defined as conduction current and displacement current densities. So that's all for this session. Hope you understood this concept. So please like, share, subscribe and support us. And also for our previous videos, for all the uh, previous modules, you can refer our playlists. Okay, We have created all the uh, videos for you all. So refer those as well. And also... You can